honor to present our final award for the evening, the William P. Hub Hubbard Award. To present this award, please welcome Councillor Gord Perks. <laughs> In 1989, Toronto City Council established the William P. Hubbard Race Relations Award. Recipient of this award comes from all areas, the arts, law, education, social services, and community. But all have one commitment in common, their activism. The award is named after the first person of African heritage to serve as a Toronto City Councillor. Mr. Hubbard entered politics in 1894 at the age of 52 and served for a total of 15 years as councillor and also served as acting mayor. An important part of our history that we don't always hear. Councillor Perks. Thank you, Denise. Toronto's motto is diversity our strength. I think we should pause and think about that for a moment. While Toronto is diverse, we are not equitable. Clear evidence of racism exists everywhere you look in our city. Where there is social exclusion and racism, we are not strong, we are devastatingly weak. Our model, therefore, is an aspiration, not an achievement. To get from aspiration to achievement requires action. And when governments fail to act, it falls to activists to bring change. Black Lives Matter Toronto, a coalition of black Torontonians resisting anti-black racism, are inspirational leaders and a credit to our city. By taking action where our government has failed, they have created, articulated, and enacted a new vision of responding to inequities experienced by black people in Toronto. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter Toronto has called on Torontonians to speak out and ensure equity in our city. They act as a platform for black communities to eradicate all forms of anti-black racism, support black healing, and liberate blackness. With courage, determination, and a deep sense of justice, Black Lives Matter Toronto holds all of us who live in Toronto to account. Their work strengthens our democracy, improves our population's health, and saves lives in our city. Please join me in welcoming the winner of the 2016 WP William P. Hubbard Award for Race Relations, Black Lives Matter Trump. So we're very thankful to receive uh, and accept this award 
for our work here in Toronto, the land of the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nations, Three Fires Territory land that was used and shared over time by the Huron Wendat, the Haudenosaunee, and many others, as this was a key meeting place. We also want to say thank you to the ASL interpreters and to all of our fellow recipients tonight. We are honored to accept this award um, on behalf of the hundreds of thousands of people who have made, who have been with us in this fight from day one. Um, our fight is not new. Black activists have been calling for the things that we've been calling for for decades. Uh, we are not new um, in this. Uh, while we have had some differences of opinions with the direction of some of the city directors and decisions, we acknowledge that the communities in the city are strong and we do have a voice. We demand a better city, one where all people have the right to self-determination. We demand a city where black people can walk freely without a threat of targeted policing, a place where indigenous people have sovereignty and where Takarantu is once again a meeting place governed by indigenous leadership. We demand a city where black disabled people, where black people who identify as mad, crazy, and crip, where black deaf people can be in public space without being harassed and targeted by the police. We demand a city where we can all be truly free. We thank you for this award and we look forward to working with you to create such a city, either through face-to-face -face meetings or through direct action in the streets. We'll meet you in either location to make this city a place where diversity is indeed our strength. Thank you to the community organizations that recognize our worth, our necessity, our impact, and our power. Just like this award, solutions will come from the community. Not politicians not politicians who have shown us that we are not a priority. We wish more politicians were actually here celebrating with us tonight and really showing, and really showing how much diversity and equity is needed within the city. We accept this award as a step forward. We also accept this award as an apology for some of the success this past year, and as a step in the right direction towards this change that we so desperately need. We do not work as individuals. And let's get something straight. We are not troublemakers. Yeah. We are change makers, yeah. fighting for our right to live freely. We are a collective and we work with countless others in this fight for freedom. We would like to ask our whole team to stand with us and acknowledge us uh, and acknowledge all of us for all of our hard work and dedication. Everyone who has been with us uh, through the freezing cold um, of Tent City, through the blazing hunt of the Son of the SIU rally and pride, we would like to thank us all. Thank you all. We uh, are not individuals, we are in this together, and we know that we are not truly free until all of us are free. So, Black Lives, they matter here. 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 I believe that we will win.